In the city soccer saga, we're hearing from both the mayor and the developer of 11 Park after the mayor's plan for a new major league soccer stadium took a step forward last night. A city count, county council committee approved a measure tied to it. After the vote, Mayor Joe Hogsett said tonight our community engaged in a robust conversation on the future of soccer in Indianapolis and emerged one step closer to pursuing the vision to bring a major league soccer expansion club to our city. A statement from the Keystone Group, the developer of the original site for a new stadium, said tonight's meeting showed a troubling lack of details from city officials as to the why and how of their decision making. And it is our hope that the full council will stand up for their constituents and taxpayers and demand transparency as Indianapolis prepares to walk away from its commitments to the near west side neighborhoods. News 8's 8, Danielle Zukowski was at that meeting. The Rules and Public Policy Committee voted to create what's called a professional sports development area to help fund a proposed Major League Soccer Stadium on the Pearl Street site. The Rules and Public Policy Committee voted to advance the stadium district in a 6-4 to four vote. There was one abstention. This meeting included extensive back and forth between the committee members and city employees who gave the professional sports development area presentation. The city said no matter the outcome of the vote for this second tax area, it would not move forward with the original tax area plan. That plan was set to help build 11 Park, a stadium and surrounding development for a USL soccer team, the Indy 11. Council Minority Leader Brian Mowry is concerned with this. I'm also concerned with the, the message this sends to the business community at large as well, that we are willing to start negotiations and then back out completely at the last minute and turn it around on you and uh, what, that, what message that sends to the community. Council President Vop Osili says he chose to vote yes because this is the city's best shot at getting a major league soccer team. The city wants to have an MLS team and the city could benefit from that. But it was also clear tonight how important it is that we work as hard as we can to make something great come from the Diamond Chain site. The Brickyard Battalion, the fan group for the Indy 11, feels betrayed that the city backed out of the project. It's all about compromise and doing what's best for uh, the citizenry uh, and your constituents. And right now we're not really seeing that play out. This is not the end of the road for this tax district. Next, it faces the full council. If it passes there, it heads to the Metropolitan Development Commission again, and then would face state approval. The full council is set to meet next week on Monday, June 3rd, and should consider this proposal. I'm Danielle Zulkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.